While you decide if this video is worth your time, let me just say that by the end, no new parts were needed, and the cost of a replacement motor or a new dishwasher was also avoided, keeping enough money in my pocket to take the missus out to a nice dinner. Frigidaire dishwashers are a popular choice for many people, because they offer pretty good wash results and fairly quiet operation at a decent price. To start with, I'm going to check the components that we can get at from the inside of the dishwasher tank. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something like a toothpick in there. There are two screens that need to be removed to get at the wash pump impeller. That's a fancy word for pump paddle wheel. These screens should filter out seeds and small bones that might cause a noise like this, but then again, you never know. The lower wash arm has a nifty little tab that needs to be rotated clockwise 90 degrees. Little side note, removing these screens from time to time for a good cleaning will help your dishwasher work better for the long haul. If you have a heavy soap or mineral deposit, you may want to try a good dishwasher cleaner like Glisten or Dishwasher Magic and cut back on the soap. You may also want to check out the dishwasher troubleshooting tips available at AppliancesAssistant.com. Now we get to the good stuff. Three screws are all that hold this diverter cover in place, which directs the water from the wash pump motor to the upper and lower spray arms. After that's off, we can look for anything that may have worked its way down there and could be causing a sound like this. Anytime you have a fast ticking type noise, it's a pretty clear indicator that you should be looking for something that spins, like a pump, fan, or motor. I'm not seeing anything down here in the wash motor, and when we run it with all the parts off, I'm still getting the sound, so we're going to need to dig a little deeper and get into the meat and potatoes. Now let's stop and think about the symptoms. We have this mystery noise that has been increasing over the last several weeks. Last night, my wife decided that she'd had enough, and as we all know, if mama's not happy, nobody's happy. One other thing that I noticed was that the noise is strongest when the dishwasher is washing and not so much during the drain, which is important because this style of dishwasher has two pumps, a recirculation pump to push water and detergent through the dishwasher's spray arms and clean off your filth, and a drain pump to remove all the nasty water from the tank, leaving your dishes sparkling clean. With the lower panel off, it is clear that the sound is coming from the main wash motor and not the drain pump. I could have also just hit the cancel drain button twice and shifted the dishwasher from wash to drain, and that would have given me a pretty clear indication as to which motor I needed to focus on. Also, if you're reaching under a live dishwasher, which I in no way recommend, use extreme caution. If you're laying in water and your arm brushes against a live wire, worrying about dishwasher noises is going to be pretty low on your priority list. For a more detailed look at removing and reinstalling the dishwasher, you may want to look at the dishwasher installation video at AppliancesAssistant.com. Here's a little tip that I acquired from installing a few thousand dishwashers. Look very closely at the plumbing connections before you touch anything. Plumbing can go from zero to a bad dream in a hurry, so make sure your valve connections look good, or please ask your children to leave the room. You should also know where your home's main water shutoff valve is before you're frantically searching for it or a wrench during an emergency. If you're working with a hard copper water supply connection, you may also want to replace it with a flexible reinforced line like this one. This makes reinstallation much easier. Do not use plastic lines. With the dishwasher out, it's much easier to access the drain pump, wash motor, and other parts. As you can see, it's nothing fancy, not much to them. Let me give you a quick part rundown before we move on. Heater connections, held in place with two threaded nuts. These brass nuts can sometimes be the source of leaking if the nuts happen to crack down the side. They don't hold the heater in place and keep pressure on the washers that are just above sealing them in the tank. These hoses are a rodent favorite, by the way. Mice and rats can eat up a dishwasher faster than you can say. So if you suddenly find yourself with a serious leak, hoses are the first thing that you want to look at. And the safety thermostat. This cuts power to the heater in an emergency. These are very rare to fail. The float switch senses how much water is in the tank and opens, cutting power to the water valve when the tank is full. The drain pump is mounted to this bracket with two screws. The drain pump can sometimes also be clogged with something that would cause a very similar sound, but during the drain. Or lock up the drain pump completely, not allowing the water to drain out at all. The drain pump housing can be separated after removing three screws. This would allow you to clear anything that may have found its way in there, and you can also see if an impeller fin has broken off. This would reduce the drain speed or water volume. Of course, if any of these parts need to be replaced, you can have them quickly delivered to your front doorstep and support these videos by ordering through AppliancesAssistant.com. The wash motor is mounted to the sump area with this pressure bracket, which is secured in place by two Torx screws. Once the clip is out, you just pull on the motor. There are two O-ring seals to prevent leaking, so it may help to wiggle and twist a little as you pull. 
This motor uses spring-loaded bars called brushes that transfer electricity to the rotor of the motor, causing it to spin in the rotating magnetic field of the motor windings. These brushes grind down over time and eventually will no longer power the motor. The ends of the rotor are suspended in place by bearings, allowing for smooth, quiet operation. These bearings can corrode or break down and cause noisy operation, especially if the motor has been leaked on or become wet at any time. This is not safe. I do not recommend that you do it, but for your instructional benefit, I will hurl myself into harm's way and risk life and limb to impart to you a better understanding of the inner dynamics of this very common appliance problem. Wish me luck. You can see that our noise is still present. You can also see that the back side of the rotor is a fan that circulates air and cools the motor. The impeller wheel portion of the motor is held in place by a Phillips head screw that expands these two fingers holding it into place. With that off, let's try it again. Still annoying, so I'm going to keep digging. Now you can see the solid food waste disposal blade. Many dishwashers have something like this to grind up solid items that make it through the screens so they can be safely drained out. Now let's try it. Nice and smooth. If I look closely at the blade, I can see that the spacer fins, which are the point of contact between the blade and the outer housing, have become worn down over time, and is allowing the blade to sit closer to the inner part of the housing than it originally did. The blade can now hit this small pin in the housing as it rotates and is causing that annoying noise. Now this is not an official repair, but since the new blade cannot be purchased independent from the motor, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not positive for the reason of this pin, but my guess is that it's designed to stop food in the motor so that the blade can grind against it and break it up. If there was nothing like that there to stop loose material, it would just pick up speed and spin with the blade. So I'm going to cut a little of this pin off so that the blade can clear it easily as it spins. Let's fit it back together and give it a test. Ah. To put the dishwasher back together, just run all of that in reverse. And don't forget the second Oops. motor seal that you had to remove mm. on the floor like I did. One other thing that's pretty important. When you're reinstalling the dishwasher, it is very, very important that the dishwasher be level, especially from front to back. There's no bottom seal on a dishwasher in most cases. If there is, it's, it's a light one. It's not waterproof. If the dishwasher is tipped forward, what can happen is those waves that are created from just the circulation of the water can cause the water to run up out of the front as the water surges in the tank. Dead straight, even with the cabinets, uh, or tip back just slightly. Uh, uh, you also need to be absolutely positive that all of your connections are 100% dry. Even small leaks over time can cause major damage to flooring and cabinetry. So after you have, you've got everything working properly, leave that lower panel off, maybe for a day or two, and you know, every now and then when things running, take a look and double check. My grandpa told me it was a good little trick. You want to use a, a red napkin or a colored napkin and place it down there if you did see any leaks that you repaired. And if there's any more moisture, it'll make a mark on that napkin that you'll be able to see for an extended period of time. Also, in this case, a Frigidaire dishwasher, there are small little plastic tabs that they've uh, reworked later on. And they tend to break when you're rolling the racks in and out. And that surge is allowed to come forward and drip down on the door slightly. So, And there's also one that goes onto the bottom of the door that rotates and makes a, makes a seal against the bottom of the tub. So that's about it. Generally, you just dig in there and start start going. You move carefully and slowly and make sure that you're paying attention to where you're taking things off. Correct screws are going back in the proper locations and all that kind of thing. And the more you do it, the, the better you're going to become at it and the more things you're going to be able to correct and solve. And possibly get uh, a friend or family member out of a pinch too. Thanks for watching.